Welcome to Yacht Crew Vlogs, where we tell the stories of those in the yachting industry. A behind the scenes look that discovers the individuals in the industry, their history, their passions, and what inspires them to do what they do. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I am your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome my next guest, Grace. She is the director for Mimo Connect. How are you, Grace? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. You are here because we are talking about the upcoming event on October 10th in Palma Mallorca for Pearls of Wisdom. First, tell me a little bit about you. Well, I grew up in London. I had a, a, a short career in the film and TV industry whilst also being a, a professional dancer for a little while. Knee injury stopped that one, so I found my way stumbled into yachting like most people do. And then uh, a few years ago, we moved over to Palma when we started the company. And yeah, so we, we've been here uh, about three years now. I came into yachting and I think I had my first Monaco yacht show shortly after that. And I must say, I don't think I've ever been more intimidated in my whole entire life. I was just, I couldn't believe how everybody knew everybody. And, and I, was, I was walking around with my, with my boss at the time and he was saying hi to this person, hi to that person. I was like, how the bloody hell do you know all these people? And I just found it really overwhelming. Fast forward 10 plus years, I kind of feel like I'm now in that position where I can introduce people to other people and, and make connections. And that's kind of how the business started. So we, we've always worked in, well, me and, and my other business partner, we've always worked on the kind of service side of, of yachting. And setting up the hospitals on board the yachts and then then we moved into comms um, and we worked for a big corporate company and then we left there and then we thought hey actually we've got an idea and we could we could do this ourselves we met our other our other business partners uh, at, at another yacht show at, at Fort Lauderdale Boat Show and, and that's kind of how it how it all started the transition from probably working on the corporate side of yachting into boutique company was quite an adjustment, really. You realize all of a sudden everything is on your shoulders and everything is is down to us to make it work. You know, even even learning things like accountancies and you know how to how to manage finances and things like that that you just don't have to do in a big corporate organization because somebody else's that's somebody else's job. Yeah. So it's been a steep learning curve for sure over the last four years, but yeah, something I, I definitely, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. So what is it exactly that you do? The company is called Mimo Connect and we provide connectivity solutions to yachts in simple terms, internet for yachts in whichever way, shape or form that comes. What drew you to Pearls of Wisdom? Our organization is actually very heavily weighted on, on the female side, which is quite unusual for a for a technology company. Technology is a, is a male-dominated industry. After we attended the, we, well, we attended and sponsored the last event, it really got me thinking even more about how ex-crew, especially like stewardesses, um, once they, when, when they want to come to shore, they have already learned so many skills that they don't even realize that they have. So that because they live it, they live it and they breathe it, they, they, they live and they sleep and they eat on this yacht and they don't even realize that the skills that they're picking up um, every single day that they're on these boats. And their skills that don't necessarily just have to be converted in, converted into another kind of housekeeping type role. You know, you know, if, if people don't want to go down the service route in terms of managing a villa or managing private residences or, or whatever it is, there are other companies that really value all of the skills that you've got as, a, as an ex-stewardess. Working under pressure, extreme pressure in lots of cases, thinking on your feet, making quick decisions, your attention to detail, all of these things, you can so easily transfer that into a job, landside, in a company that you might not even think that you would want to work in because you think, well, why would... Why would I apply for a technology company? I'm an ex-stewardess who's going who's gonna to think that that's a good idea. But when you start breaking down all of the experience that you have, you can learn technology. But those life skills, that can be so valuable for any company, not just the service-related land-based role. So I think that's the, the, the message that I was really kind of wanting to, to put across, really, is that like you don't... You, you, you don't have to be pigeonholed. There are companies like us 
that would value you so much. But I think that's important that the you know the women that attend these events, especially those maybe who are still working on boats or just left and looking for where to go next, that there are other options to open open doors and make people aware of, of what is available to them. As long as they is if they have the network to ask the right people, then yeah, we're here. The fact is, you know that this person knows how to get the job done right, knows how to do it perfectly, will apply themselves to the ninth degree and make sure the job gets done. So those are the kind of people that you do want to train and bring on board. Exactly. I've got female friends who are chief officers and captains. And, you know, if it comes to the time where they want to step off the boat as well, it, it, it's, not, it's not just the skills that you use to do your specific role on board because you don't realize what everything that you've picked up along the way as well so um yeah women in in all forms from from yachting definitely where do you see your partnership with pearls of wisdom going next i just think if we can continue to contribute to growing this network giving advice sharing stories, um, sharing experiences, because you never know what what experience you've had that might actually help someone else or might make somebody else think a slightly different way. So if we build this network and we build this community where it's a kind of open forum for everybody to share, everybody to um, get involved, I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and people are just going to get more and more and more from it. So that's why I, I just think it's really important that, that we're that we're involved. And I'm really proud that our company has been involved from, from pretty much the beginning, um, because I think it's just going to create some amazing opportunities for people wanting to come to land. Some of the most world changing events have been started as a grassroots organization. Yeah. I think Pearls of Wisdom is that for the industry. Yeah. I would agree. And it's, you know, it's a a safe space for, for women to share and connect with each other where there's no judgment and we all genuinely want each other to succeed and we want to see, you know, people going from strength to strength to strength once they leave yachts. Um, and I think having that kind of level of empowerment from a big group of women all in one room together gives you so much gives you that kind of confidence and that leg up that you might need just to be like, you know what, actually, yes, I can do this. I can apply for that job that I didn't think I was qualified for, but thinking about it now, actually, maybe I am qualified for it. Grace, I want to say thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. The event is Pearls of Wisdom. It is happening in Palma de Mallorca on October 10th. We'll provide all the links below this interview when it airs, as well as, of course, if you want to get a hold of Grace and find out more about Mimo Connect, we will provide that information below this interview as well. My name is Rio. I have been your host. We'll see you again next time. Mm-hmm.